everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm doing your April, uh, April <laughs> reading, sorry. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun and Rising Venus. Uh, hopefully everyone's doing well, stay safe. Also just a quick note, um, I was watching another YouTuber and uh, they said that people were being unsubscribed from their channel because they don't... Um, YouTube is doing this because they don't interact with the channel, so no comments or whatever, um, or likes or whatever. Um, and so, just wanted to say, because I know some of you have reached out and said that you, you keep getting unsubscribed or you can't, whatever. Um, so I just thought, maybe that's why. So just something to just keep in mind, really. But um, as always, remember these are general and watch all your signs. Page of Cups. And if you do enjoy the content, like, share, subscribe, comment, let me know, okay? I know I've been in my A for a little while, but um, I've just, I'm just trying to adjust to the new normal, same as everyone else, I think. Um, but I'm really struggling with energy levels because I can't really get out the house and meet people and it's, it's affecting me in a weird way. Okay. So we have Page of Cups, Nine of Wands is the challenge, Page of Coins in your crowning thoughts, Ten of Swords in the foundation. In the past we have the Knight of Cups, in the outcome we have the Knight of Swords, so two pages, two knights. Bottom of the deck, oh my god I can't speak, bottom of the deck, the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is, for some of you what I'm getting with this is in you're in a situation you don't want to be in, you just want out. You just want out, you want to run away from something, you want to avoid something, you want to not have to deal with something, okay? Yeah, because the challenge is the fact that you can't actually do that. We have the Nine of Wands here, so it's where um, you're holding on, you're, you're still standing, you haven't walked away from a situation. Uh, the challenge is letting it go. Current situation, Page of Cups. So this is uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This is communication. Maybe you're trying to avoid information or a message from a water sign. Maybe a fire sign. Doesn't really matter. Um, but you heard something. You saw something. Uh, you received a message. Or you bumped into someone. Okay. And the Nine of Wands is telling me that either you have history, maybe not that bright kind of history with that person. Uh, or they keep paying you compliments and stuff like that and you're just, you don't want that, okay? And you're, you're trying to figure out a way to put your foot down or you're trying to decide, should I tell them to stop or should I just stop talking to them and just avoid this altogether, okay? And the foundation, Ten of Swords, here's that not so bright history. So there was a difficult ending when it comes to you and this person. There was betrayal you know, being stabbed in the back, all that kind of thing. Um, for some of you, they just left, and now they're coming out of the blue, and they're acting like everything's normal, and it just takes you back exactly to that moment of, you know, feeling hurt and raw, okay, and angry. Yeah, in the past, the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who was, for some of you, you're dealing with someone who was a player, okay? They said all the right things, and when it came to actually doing what they said, they just took off, or they stopped talking. Um, it was it was something that, you know, seemed too good to be true, but you gave it a shot anyway. And with the Three of Wands, maybe they just literally left, okay? Crowning thoughts, we have the page of coins. So with the page of coins, for some of you, it's like you would entertain having a conversation with this person, but you want it to be more grounded and realistic, okay? They keep saying all the nice, pretty, bubble pink, bubble gum pink, whatever, um, dreamy things that they did before. And you're saying, well, actually, I know exactly where that leads. I've been there before. So it's either be real, be honest, be genuine, or just leave me alone. Okay? 
So that's what I'm feeling here. And then in the outcome, we have the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords, you're not having it, okay? You're making it very clear that if they want to talk to you, they have to respect you and they have to play by your rules, okay? And have to do better. They just have to do better. Pretty words are not enough, okay? Um, and also I hear, you know, for some of you, you're actually saying an apology isn't enough for us to be best friends again. An apology isn't enough for us to get back together. An apology isn't enough for me to let this go, okay? Because whatever happened with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands, it left you feeling raw, exposed, it took you a, a while to get yourself back on your feet. And maybe that you still don't know what happened. Or you still don't know why they did or why they said what they did or, or said. And now they're coming back and they're like, hey, beautiful. You know, and they're talking to you like nothing's happened. Okay, so for some of you, that's what you're dealing with. And listen, that's the energy. So if this is happening in a work sense or anything to do with money, it's the same thing. You're dealing with someone or, or a, a situation or a role or something where it's it sounds lovely, okay? It sounds absolutely beautiful. But whenever you're trying to get more details about it or whenever you're asking for stuff to be put in writing or whenever you're asking for you know specific things, they keep kind of blowing you off and with the knight of swords you're like no you're either doing this or i'm walking away because there's something off here and you've been through this before or you've been through this type of situation before okay so let's clarify some cards here Listen, good news is, yes, you might feel hurt, but the truth is you're in a good position. You can handle it. You know you know it takes back. You're not taking BS anymore. So you may, on the inside, feel hurt or insecure, you know, but the way you speak, the way you act, the way you present yourself with the Knight of Swords is... I don't care what happened before, this is what needs to happen now. My way or the highway, which in this case is perfectly understandable type of response. And listen, it will reveal things to you, okay? This type of my way or the highway, or uh, do this now and I'll believe you, or put this in writing or make this official now or this week. You know, putting a time limit on it or stuff like that um, is really going to help you see what's what because with the Knight of Cups, they like to talk and they like to, you know, kind of prolong things and stuff like that. But when you're saying, no, I need this done now or I need this done this way or I need this done by this time, um, most of the times, if, if they are disingenuous, um, they'll take off, you know, because you're putting them under pressure. And they don't like that because they're not in control now. They know you see through them. Okay. So let's see. Current situation. Page of Cups with the Knight. No, Knight. Nine of Wands. Ace of Swords. So yeah, there's been communication. There's been a message, but you're seeing right through it. You want the truth. You want what's real. Four of Pentacles, okay, with the challenge, it's like, for some of you, I feel like you want closure from this situation, and for those, you would entertain a second chance, but it has to be on your terms, okay, because for some of you, you haven't let go of this um, yet. And remember, roles can always be reversed as well. This could also be a situation where you're dealing with someone and something is revealed 
And when you start asking them about it, you know, they're not giving you straight answers. So you just want to get to the bottom of things. With the Ten of Swords in the Foundation, we have the Page of Pentacles. So you have Page of Pentacles in the Foundation and in the Crowning Thoughts as well. So either something was offered in the past and then um, taken back. Or something was offered and then someone's, you know, changed their mind. Or what I feel is someone talked big, but what they offered was very, very small. Okay? And it can be about love, but it can also be about money and job situation. With the Knight of Cups in the past, we have the Three of Pentacles. So, talk the talk, but when it comes to walking the walk and putting in the work, there, there was something lacking there. Maybe the truth of the situation is, you know, you thought everyone was on the same page and you thought both of you or all of you were working together for the same purpose and it turns out that you're the only one doing the work and the other person's coasting or few other people are coasting or you're doing a lot more than just your share in a situation okay this could also be like a business venture where you and maybe family members or friends it doesn't matter you're supposed to pull your resources together and work together on this business idea or project or whatever and it's revealed that actually you put in more than them money work etc and it's like with the page of coins, let's do the numbers. I don't trust what you're saying. Because we're like, how are we, how are we doing? And they would be like, yeah, perfect, great. We're on the up and up and everything. But then when you ask them about specific figures, they change the subject or something like that. And now you're like, no, actually, let's sit down and you show me the numbers. Okay, with the page of coins in the crowning thoughts, six of cups. Yeah, so you might be working with friends or family members. Or again, this is about someone uh, trying to come back. Or this is you thinking, you know what? This this is all too familiar to me. This type of situation, this type of conversation. And you're on your guard, definitely. And then with the Knight of Swords and the outcome, you have the Hermit and Seven of Pentacles. So bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is what someone's trying to offer, but it's the Ace of Cups. It's something that, you know, seems very beautiful and overflowing, but again, when you break it down, they don't deliver what they say. You know, they don't deliver what they're offering. It's someone who likes to do grand gestures or something like that, but then when you really pay attention to what they're doing, you see that there's some sort of illusion or scam or, you know, I don't know what the phrase is, but robbing pizza gift to Paul or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, so for some of you, you are definitely giving someone an ultimatum Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Hermit in the middle, you're like, I'll give you a, a chance to prove yourself, but you have to, you see how there's no water energy here? The Hermit is all about the details, earth energy, okay, earth and air, so it's like, show me what you are talking about. I need to see it, you know? So for some of you, because you're giving someone an ultimatum, they take off, and you're like, good, you're not having my time, you're not having my resources this time. Time, money, energy, love, whatever. For those of you, you are rejecting or withdrawing from a situation. Because again, when you add things up and do the bottom line, you've given more to the situation than what was agreed or you're definitely not getting what you're supposed to out of it, what was promised, okay? I 
you definitely feel like you're withdrawing your resources. You've invested in the situation and you're at the point where you're thinking, you know what, actually, in light of this new information with the hermit as well, in light of this new uh, wisdom, I'm reassessing my position. If I'm going to stay, if I'm going to keep giving to the situation, this is what I want. If I'm not getting what I want, what I deserve, I'm not going to be in this situation. I'm taking my money, I'm taking my love, I'm taking it, what I've put into it, walking away. All right. So in this particular situation, the hurt, the betrayal, the horrible thing that happened, you know, the ending, it has made you so much stronger. And I feel like you see that now because you're not afraid to be strong with the Knight of Swords. You're not afraid to be strong and to show who you are, what you want, what you deserve, and ask for it, demand it, okay? So either way, you're getting yourself, you're in control. You're either getting yourself out of uh, an illusion uh, or you're getting what you want and what you deserve in a situation by putting your foot down. And you're bringing it, how can I say this? It's like you're taking it from the blah, blah fantasy stage into real concrete. No, let's actually do the numbers. No, let's actually sign a contract. Let's not take each other's words for it. Let's sign a contract. You know what I mean? So you're bringing it into reality. You're anchoring it so that it becomes something that is stable. Okay. And for those of you, again, you're, you're going at it alone. You're walking away from the Three of Pentacles because you can't rely on people. They talk big, but they never deliver. And you're, you're going off on your own, whether that means starting your own business, um, changing your social circles, you know, leaving a relationship behind, leaving a family business behind. Okay. Either way, you're in charge, large and in charge. Okay, so that's your reading. I hope that it helps you if you're dealing with these energies. Let me know what you're dealing with, okay? Let me know how the messages resonate if they do. Remember to watch all your signs. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's interact here, especially with what's going on in the world. Let's, you know, keep each other sane and positive in as much as we can. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.